how to come up with a million dollar business idea. We're gonna talk about this because it is my favorite topic. I love coming up with million dollar ideas. I have a saying that says you shouldn't get out of bed for less than a million bucks. So some of you get out of bed for $10 and you need to be switching up what you're doing every day. So the three things I wanna talk about is how do you find a million dollar profitable business idea, number one. Number two, what is the cost and the funding to get this idea to a deal and get it really up and running? You're gonna be shocked how little it costs. And number three, the common misconceptions, and I'm gonna to say total flat out lies, that this lovely place called the bathroom wall, the internet is telling you about how to start a business and how many of you are gonna dismally fail. That is all a lie. More people can win when you do it right. So let's begin. Where do you find a million dollar business idea? Well, you got to do some research. So first of all, back up and say, well, what are the problems? Well, my God, I mean, since COVID and I got to throw this out there, I'll say the administration, which doesn't sway either way. I'm just going to say that because uh, given all this, there are so many problems to solve. It's like, which way do you want to go? So if anything, there are more problems to solve than there are probably people who actually want to be on the playing field. And are you willing to lead a team? See, a lot of you, you come with this employee mindset and you think that, you know, you're going to have this million dollar idea. A lot of those ideas actually come from engineers that actually do some biotech or medical tech or some sort of, you know, new technology. And there's a lot of other big million dollar problems to solve. So right now I'm in businesses solving investment problems. Why? Because the stock market's a joke. It's an emotional arbitrage. So I have a software. In fact, I'm going to give you a whole bunch of gifts right now. I'm going to give you an iFlip app. It's a software. It takes you in and out of the market. You're not going to get killed by a financial planner parking and praying, hoping to God they're paying attention. They make their money when they put you in the market. Most of them could care less while you're in the market and when it crashes and goes down, they'll say, oh, you're in for the long haul. They make a bunch more fees and commissions and you go again with them. Don't understand that model at all. Another really big problem to solve is the lack of financial literacy. So I have another business that's just coming live right now. It's a bank for kids called Gravy Stack. I'm gonna give you a free link. So go check it out, get the app. And again, it's not just like green light where it's just a little debit card. It's a debit card attached to your spending. It helps you never pay your kid an allowance so they can design an income. They can do missions and gigs, teaching them how to make money, it teaches them a lot about economics, money, business, marketing. There's these cool pipes. So the spend goes to their debit card, the invest goes to their iFlip app, and then their charity goes to whatever charity of choice. So it's a very cool visual that is going to be super fun and uh, hitting the market as we speak. So grab both of them. So the reason those are huge problems we're solving. So what other problems are out there? Now, money is just a big problem. So I've made millions and millions of dollars and I've bootstrapped it, meaning I started it from nothing. So you say, well, how can you start a million dollar business from nothing? It starts with service tip not a product because a product costs some money to put together a prototype of this or a prototype of this, whatever you're putting a prototype together. So when you just start with something that you're good at, I've helped writers, I've helped people that, I mean, house cleaning companies, pest companies, detail car companies, what are you good at? What do you know that you are good at? And the biggest challenge with you becoming a hundred thousand heir to a millionaire is you is because you're not willing to do enough marketing, sales, and understand cash flow, which are the three biggest skills of a million dollar entrepreneur. You've got to understand how to get a lead, which is marketing. So if you don't know how to do that, let us do that for you. Go to askrms.com. Let us just do it for $2.97 a month. We'll get you leads every month. You have to get yourself leads by doing what I do, right? Because you're the leader. You've got to be out on social channels. You've got to be out on video and you've got to come out as an expert. So other things you could do is buy franchise. There are some good franchises franchises, others not so much. I do have an expert that can give you some assessment of whether you're, it's not going to work or will work. And here's the difference. A lot of them have really old fashioned marketing techniques. So given all the digital structures and all the digital marketing that's going on, a lot of franchises are very limited to what you can do. And you won't be the one doing the post. You could own the franchise, but they're going to be giving you the marketing assets, right? They're going to be giving you the different ads. They're going to give you the templates and you have to run them. If you wanted to come out and do a YouTube channel, you're going to have to do that different in a different company. So there's a lot of ways to do it. I've got millionaires in direct sales companies who are making hundreds of thousands a month doing direct sales. So what is that? Um, from gifts and cards companies to just home supplies, a bunch of cool companies that you could just join and grow. Here's the big difference between the first hundred thousand you're ever going to make, which is the hardest money you're ever going to make because you got the biggest transition from being an employee to an entrepreneur and you've got to learn a whole new skill set. The 
difference between a hundred thousand air company and a million dollar and a multi-million dollar company is you. You've got to start leading and doing less, which means you've got to hire the departments. You've got to hire the marketing department, the sales department, the accounting department, the fulfillment, the operations, the technology, the customer service, and then you get to oversee it. So a lot of you, you don't know how to lead. So my always advice to you is get in, let's get you up to a hundred thousand, then come in further to our big table and mentoring and let us show you how to build a team so you're leading more doing less because usually you're the one in the way. Perfect is an answer to poverty. It doesn't exist. It's uh, Jim Collins writes about it the best in 80-20, Good Enough is a book. Phenomenal. It's once you're at about 80% launch, I'd say if you're at 40% launch, get out some pre-sales and modify the rest as you keep going. So being an entrepreneur is a little more fluid than you really rigid employees. That's a big difference in behavior and skills. Number two, do you need the cost and the funding? So there's funding sources everywhere. So you have to become incorporated. So if you are by yourself in a sole proprietorship, A, no one's gonna give you money, no one's gonna do business with you, nor should they. I, Laura Langmire, will not do business with anyone. So I have companies, so you gotta start either an LLC, S Corp, C Corp. So in the link below, I'm giving you a link to talk to one of our lead strategists, talk to them about what kind of company you will need. You don't know, so don't go to a cheap, online.com -er and try to just pick a company that you think you might need. Let an expert decide for you. So just say like any company venture, like I'm in a cannabis company right now and it's five to seven companies will end up running that one enterprise, which is a multi, multi-million dollar venture. And inside say a company, you get corporate credit, you get corporate cards, you get corporate structure and you can get corporate funding. So the better the plan and the bigger the problem you solve, the more companies will want to invest in you, number one one and you can just get basic funding. I mean, we can help any like small business get 100, 150,000 in 0% financing. It costs a little bit to get it, but it's 0% for 21 months. You can pay hard money or you can pay loans in this kind of interest environment, which would be crazy. So lots of ways to get funding, to get started. I am a huge fan of bootstrapping and starting with pre-sales. Pre-sales mean I have an idea. I'm going to solve this problem. If you'd like to pre-order, which means you're going to give me money in advance, I'm going to give you a lot of bonuses and incentives to do that in advance, then I start the business. So lots of ways to do that and to contract cash. So go to my millionaire intensive one last gift I'm going to give you. And if you've been come again, if you still don't get the model on how to make money, you have to learn to drive revenue as the owner of your company. Now, before I go to the last point, I want you to subscribe to our channel, click the notification button. I want you here five days a week. I want you to share it with five to 10 friends. If you want to binge watch, come binge watch for 25 hours and take $750 in credit toward a tuition that we will give you for being part of our community. The last thing and the biggest misconception, I'm going to go back to funding. Every one of you think you have to have a bunch of money to make the money. You don't even know what to do with the money. And in fact, if somebody gave you $100,000, this would this actually would be a fun competition. If somebody gave you $100,000 to start a company, what would you do with it? Literally, what would you do with it? Buy yourself a new car? Buy a new big screen TV? Buy a bunch of stuff you don't need? Like literally, here's what I would do. I would buy a company. I get incorporated, number one, into a new company because it's a brand new venture. I would get Ask RMS. I'd get a rapid marketing system because I need a database, right? So look, number one and number two is what I would do to spend that money. Number three, I would get out here on social channels and I would start talking about my million dollar idea. How many of you are interested? What do you want me to talk about? And I'd start getting pre-sales. So now I've just started with almost nothing. And if I didn't have the money for the company and the RMS system, I would sell some service in between. And even if it was something I wasn't going to do for a long time, I would still make Make the money to pay for it. So a lot of you got to learn to be bootstrappers. You got to learn to like start from nothing, make money from yourself and your own skill set and this amazing thing God gave you, which is your brain. So the misconception you need money is the biggest one you don't. What you do need though, is you need a team, right? You need systems and you need a team. You need to get incorporated, get RMS and get a team because you cannot do this by yourself. So if you're serious about really wanting a million dollar business to be real, this isn't Shark Tank. It's not entertainment. This is the real deal. And I'm the real deal. And I'd love to help you. So if you're interested, make sure you click on one of those links below. Talk to our team. If you have any questions, go to asklaurel.com. Ask a question, make a request, and we'll be back tomorrow.